are now in Yemen. The wonderful mountainous land. So let's get close and see what happens behind the walls of this productive garden. Hassan. Bring another picked fruits and take this basket to our poor neighbor Abdullah. You know that he is sick and couldn't come to take his charity today. I hear and obey my father, I'll be very happy. That's too much, father. You are wasting the result of our efforts on poor people. Yes, father, but aren't we deserve more of this fruit to sell and make profit of it? Yes, my father. I'm sure the alms you're giving is enough. No, my dear sons. Allah blesses us when we give the poor people their rights and the harvest day. Don't you see all this welfare and fruits? Have a look. Have a look, my sons. Look at these welfare and fruits. But, uh... Isn't enough, my son, that we take our needs along the year and we get profit? Be careful, my sons, and listen. Allah made the right for the poor people in our money. And if you miss the money, Allah will not forgive us at all. But if we sell all these fruits, we'll have many gardens and... Uh... Come on, son. No more words. I prefer the poor's invoke God for me than the gardens and fruits. Come, Shihab. Take this basket to Hamdan, the blind man. Go now, my son. My father was still wasting the fruit of our efforts. Wasn't half of this basket enough? It's heavy. Here you go, Uncle Abdullah. This is your share of our garden's fruits. I ask God to bless you and feed you from the heaven's fruits. Allah grants your father welfare on behalf of our city's poor. He doesn't forget us and he always give us from what God had granted him. Give him more money and bless him with his boys. Oh, Father, if you could have seen Uncle Abdullah's pleasure with the fruits. He raised his hands towards the sky, asking God to grant us happiness. But why doesn't he do that? Didn't he take a basket full of fruits without any effort and he didn't grow it and harvest it? Thank God for all this. Hassan, tell your brothers about the source of blessing, so they know it's from calling Allah, my sons. We don't want him to tell us anything. I'm going to sleep. <sighs> Hassan! Shihab! Hassan! What happened? Hurry up! Your father is very sick! Huh? Go to him and I'll bring the doctor and catch up with you later! Oh! 
I gathered you today, my sons, for an important reason. I feel that I'll meet my God soon. And maybe I'll not live till tomorrow. We ask God to give you health and a very long life, Father. Dear sons, I recommend you to help poor people. Our welfare and fruits are from Allah. And I told you about the source of prosperity. Don't forget this, sons. <coughs> Don't be separated but one hand and help the poor people. The same I used to help them. So Allah will help you. <laughs> and don't prevent them the rights from the garden's fruits. It is it is your and always their heaven too. We promise you, Father, to do whatever pleases you. The generous father died after their best recommendation. His sons and all the poor people in the city grieved over him and asked Allah to forgive him. The fruit is ripe. We can all collect it now. The sun has risen and this is the best time. No, not today. We'll collect the fruits tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Today is a beautiful day. The sun is shining and the fruit calls us. We said tomorrow. Let's hurry up and close the garden gates before any poor comes. Now come on, let's go. Why do we fear the poor coming? Didn't we promise father to give them their rights always? We will discuss this at home. Let's go now. Close the gate tightly, Maher. We don't want anybody to enter. How are you, Uncle Salim? Don't forget to come and take your share of the fruit. God bless you, my son, and have mercy upon your father's soul. Let's go, Hassan. No time to lose with him. I wrote a list including the poor in our territory. Our father always used to give them fruit. I have added another name. Here it is. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Give me this paper. But... But we promised father. Shut up, Hassan. Shihab is right. And the time for all fruit gardens to be only ours has come. But listen, my brothers. If we do that, we may lose everything and then God would be very angry. That would be wrong. No, we will not give the poor anything, and you will swear to do that. I'll not swear to anything that angers God. Don't be a loser, my brother. God forbid, we don't want to do that. We will collect all the fruits and sell them. Then every one of us will have his own garden, and then he can do whatever he pleases with it. Are you trying to deceive me? No. We will not deceive you, and when you have your own garden with beautiful fruits, you can spend as you like. Come on, brother. Let's do it. We'll all swear on this. We'll move early in the morning at dawn, before sunrise. We will collect all the fruits and not leave anything for the poor. But... but wait. You'll, You'll swear, swear, brother. brother. You'll, You'll swear, swear, Hassan. Remember, my brother. Our father told us not to conflict, and we must always be one hand. Don't be separated, and be one hand, my dear sons. Okay, I'll swear then. I'll swear. Yes, we'll swear together. Wake up early in the morning and go to our garden. No one will dare enter our garden. Yes, we will leave nothing to them. Come on to sleep, because hard work is waiting for us in the morning. Uh, 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 
What's that? The sun is about to rise. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, Hassan! Wake up, Meher! But the sun didn't rise yet. Don't be lazy! We must hide the harvest before the poor men awake! Shh! We must not let anyone feel that we are moving. We are getting closer now. We should close the door very, very well, so no one can enter upon us. I'll close it myself. I've brought this chain with me for that purpose. <laughs> huh? Huh? What is this? Impossible! Power and strength be to Allah. Where is our garden? Uh, uh, I think it's still ahead of us. This can't be our garden. How pity is the owner of this garden. He has been put to a great test. What's that I see? Isn't that our neighbor's garden? Yes, I know it's fences. Yes, so our, our garden is, is, this is our garden. The burned one. <laughs> no, impossible. Where are all the fruits? All our dreams and efforts are lost. The brothers swore to eat the poor people right in the early morning. So they got God's will and anger. And their heaven became black before it was full of fruits. No, it is our garden. And this is God's punishment. It's God's punishment. God prevents us his blessings when we don't give to the poor. You are right, Hassan. God prevents us his blessing. We have mistreated the poor and denied them the money that our God has granted us. We did wrong and God has shown us his power. Let's repent to God and ask his forgiveness. Yes, we promise his mighty that we'll give the poor their rights. Maybe he accepts our repentment and gives us a heaven better than the burnt one. We, we repent, repent to you, Allah. We, we repent, repent to you, Allah. Thanks be to God, our fruit has ripened again. Thank God, we will collect it tomorrow in God's will. No, we will not wait till tomorrow. Call on the poor so that each one of them would take his right. Because we've learned our lesson well and known where the source of prosperity is. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كذلك العذاب ولعذاب الآخرة أكبر لو كانوا يعلمون صدق الله العظيم in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Such was the punishment. And verily the punishment of the hereafter is greater if they did but know. Almighty Allah has spoken the truth.